can slowly end stop though. Ram, shaped like a viper's tongue that can come out any minute and kill off Shunt. Oh, he's not going to go again, surely. We thought Shunt was unbeatable and fearless. Go on, Shunt. Theatre. They'll be fighting obstacle courses. They'll be fighting each other. And most worrying of all, they'll be going head to head with pure, indestructible evil. The house robots. Shunt. Introducing Shunt, a power-packed robot capable of pulling a Land Rover and cleaving all opponents in two with that sharpened steel axe. Now, I've seen sumo wrestling, and basically it's just two fat blokes in pants leaning on each other. But robot sumo is different because, of course, robots don't wear pants. What happens here is that each of our five surviving robots is brought onto this raised plinth in turn where they will do battle with our most powerful house robot. He's called Shunt. If he were a car, he'd be a tank. Yes, all right, we're very impressed. Stop it. Sit still. Thank you. Now, the roboteer that lasts the shortest time is history. Well, Shogun's ready. And he's ready, and I'm in the middle. Bye. Robot ears, stand by. Three. Shogun, the first two, to face the ferocity of one, Shunt in the sumo activate. ring. Shogun, you have to stay in the sumo ring for a minute or as long as possible against Shunt. And let me tell you, Shunt can push a four wheel drive off roader. Good low centre of gravity, only 33 centimetres high, Shogun. That could be crucial in this round. Slowly end stop, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. 22 seconds, I am reliably informed. So how does that feel? Not good enough. And what was going to happen if you'd won it? Well, we had hoped to blow Shunt a kiss as he went over the edge. Blow him a kiss? Oh, isn't that sweet? But I think he's blowing him a raspberry. Still 22 seconds. <laughs> Nothing is decided yet. Let's bring on the next one. The official Robo Wars clock, though, Jeremy. 21.51 seconds for Shogun. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. And it's Killatron in the pink. Just in case you'd forgotten. With that pickaxe swinging already, heads towards the circle, though. And doom. And a dangerously high ground clearance of 10 centimetres because Shunt can get in underneath that and push them to the edge of the sumo circle. They're already through, though. They're through now. They've beaten Shogun's time. Could they go? Could they go? Almost over. It's the lip of the circle. And they've just stayed in there. Richard Ian and Abdul, tremendous driving. Stalemate at the moment, driving those 24 volt. Wheelchair motors and Shunt slowly, inexorably pushes again. Sumo! Kinatron stays its ground. This is tremendous stuff. Only seven seconds, boys. Go on, do it. Four seconds, you can do it. Two seconds, they're going to go through. Six. It's a marvellous run. If that thing ever needs a job on a road work site... <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't it? Cool. It was interesting. I'm glad you haven't really inflicted any damage on mine, though, which is uh, delightful to see. But you lasted the minute. Well done. That's brilliant. Really enjoyed what it was. That was great. Thanks. Tremendous run. They've survived the minute. They're through. But Shogun, a wee bit nervy. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. I think that 200-yard sign wedge on the front could be crucial here to scoop up and undershunt driving at the moment, and Hender Blewett and Chris Kinsey, who built Roadblock as an A-level project down in Bodmin. And they're using the 24-volt electric engines well here. That's a little bit like a, a bullfighting matador contest out there. They're already through safely with a good time. Oh, look at this! Shunt's gone! And death by glory! They've gone too! <laughs> well, unbelievable. We don't know what the rules say. The rules say you won. Excellent. <laughs> the rules say you threw, you got him out within the minute. That must be incredibly nerve wracking. Terrible, terrible. We can't believe it. But he made the mistake. Yep, and we took advantage of it. Honestly, a brilliant show. Brilliant. Well done. And they're through, but the fact they went out of the circle right at the end, they're second to Killatron. Robot ears, stand by. 
three, two, one, activate. Nemesis gives Shunt the eye and that evil grin. Those spikes look deadly as well. It's all about traction and talk. And Nemesis could talk in tongues here because there's a little pneumatic ram shaped like a viper's tongue that could come out any minute and kill off Shunt. Oh, he's not going to go again, surely? We thought Shunt was unbeatable and fearless. Go on, Shunt, get out. Talk about living on the edge. And Nemesis surely through. Marvellous. <clears throat> that was my friend, and you knocked him off. <laughs> yeah, we stuck the tail out with the three big spikes and jammed the wheels. Is that what you did then? You were able to knock him off? Yeah, well, that's tactics we were working on all day. <laughs> this is getting to be a habit. Everyone's killing my mate. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you for winning that. Jeremy's friends, electric-driven robots. Interesting. Nemesis through. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two... One, activate. Matthew Dickinson has to survive 21.51 seconds with blood to go through, and he's not going to do it, is he? He's out already. <laughs> you blithering idiot. Could you not see the edge? Yeah, I could. <laughs> you did so well in the gauntlet. I mean, like, this is really good steering and then really terrible steering. It was, weren't it? It was terrible. <laughs> I think you'd better go home, Annie, really quietly, all right? Okay. Just sneak away. Now, bend down now, no one will see you. <laughs> <laughs> Not so nice. Over in a trice. And Grunt goes in spectacular style. Just 4.15 seconds. Here in the pits, the tension's rising, along with the levels of activity as they prepare for the crucial semi-finals. Do you want to know who you're up against in the semi-finals? Yes. It might help. It would help. Killatron. Yes. Killatron. Oh, actually, mm. <laughs> We're really happy, really, really happy. <laughs> it's that old big smile. <laughs> Who are we up against? Who do you want to be up against? I'd say we'll have a chance with all of them. <laughs> with all of them? Yeah. Okay, so it won't matter. Follow me down the table to meet your opponents for the semi final, the Roblox team. Hi. Trouble is, we just can't seem to make up our mind what blade to use. <laughs> 